you don't understand why nothing's adding up. People yeah. come around and say, you failed. Right. I failed. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I that's the thing. That's the thing, too. It's like, yes, there is definitely a measure of skill that is required in this industry, especially when you do things beyond the norm. But skill is only going to get you so far in this industry. Mm. There is a crossover point, especially for those who aspire to be independent owner operator, whatever you want to call it. There is a a transcending plane where your skill is not going to carry you any further forward. You're going to have to network. You're going to have to have relationships. If you you expect to have a more long term success, you have to find you have to find people. uh, How did I say it before? Um, trucking, you have to find tape. <laughs> yeah, and the way the yeah. way the way I explain this is, when you're driving, the company is, is is taking your money. You don't make no money as a solo driver for real at a major company. As soon no. as you start training, oh, you make some money. That's because you're the student. Mm-hmm. The student doesn't get any of his mile. He gets a flat rate. Yep. And usually when you're in that position, all the money you make for driving is going to your overhead and bullshit. And maybe a thousand of that is left. And then you take the whole 2000 from his drive shift. And then you end up at a 3000 average when you're training. That's what's going on. You're passing the along. Yeah. You're just, oh, you know, I took he They took my money and I took your money. That That's how that that's how that go. That's why when you go to these places. You have to train. There ain't no yeah. person telling me they had a mega carrier not training. Man, listen. You're you're wasting time, bro. Yeah. You need to train, dog. Oh, well, I want more money without training. Then you need to leave. That's it. Because their system is literally built around you training. You have to train. If you don't, you will be mad at your life. It's that simple. You're not going to make enough money to get ahead. You'll have a regular, you know, you'll make regular $65,000 a year money, but the truth is you can do that at home. Yeah. And the other thing, too, it's like, if you're not willing to train, you're going to have to shuck and jive. You got to politic. You got to play that game. That's the oh You got to be that. You got to be that golden boy. One of the good ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. One of the good ones. <laughs> um, you, uh, 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 come here, boy. Yeah. Y- yes, sir. Do you do you want to go up to Idaho for nineteen hundred? Yes, sir. I, I'd run guy. that load, boss. I'd move that load for cheaper than that. I'd do the clam. You have to if my truck side. break down, I put it on my back, boss. I carried up the mountain for you, boss. <laughs> and if you be like, uh, this isn't enough money. Oh yeah, you're cooked. You're cooked for that month. He's gonna put you oh, in the don't get money mile for a month. That makes me think about oh my god, one of the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest lies in the industry, bro. When you as a company driver go to a company and they say we don't force dispatch. Oh my god. Everybody <laughs> forces dispatches, bro. <laughs> you better not say no to a load. <laughs> now mind you, mind you, dispatch. let me be very clear with that. We're not talking about if you're getting ready to go on home time if you have scheduled home time yes go home but if you're out running and you're just like oh i I don't want to go to california oh i don't want to go back to kentucky oh i i I don't want to go to oklahoma today (laughs) you're forced dispatch bro and and, well without go lease all lease drivers are forced dispatch yeah the only people that aren't forced dispatch are going to the freaking load board and picking their loads that's right you're forced dispatch bro don't let them lie to you You're, because it, well, technically you can say no, but they're going to take it out of your cheeks. If you say That's no, a fact. you have to take this load. He's offering to, you know, he's telling you, you're just too stupid to get it. This is the load. No, oh, I was thinking this. That's nice. But you're taking this one. <laughs> Who told you you could think? <laughs> yeah, I and, that, and that's the big problem. We don't yeah. like no thinking around here. Oh, my God. You're taking this load. And if you don't take it, you will make no money for the next two, three weeks. Yeah, like that's the 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 non forced dispatch. That's that's saying we'll hold your hand while we put you over the couch. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll lube you first. That's what. We're <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll lube you. Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> oh, that, mean, that means non first dispatch means they sweet talk you into doing the same thing the person who's telling you you have to do it, dude. That's right. You got to do it, bro. You have to do it. And as soon as you don't, you're getting the pimp smack, and the pimp smack goes straight to your pocketbook. Every time. For some reason, things will just stop working out. All of a sudden, you'll, you're sitting over the weekend. You're, you'll go to a place. Oh, this is the worst. All right, get over there and try to get it now. You get Ooh. there at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Everybody at the terminal leaves at 5 o'clock. Right? <sighs> right? Oh, now, pay man. attention. Pay attention. You knock on the door. Security guard tells you, we stop loading at 2 p.m. Oh, my God. And we don't start loading again until Monday morning. Oh, and it's Friday afternoon. That is, you're going to start getting those if you deny load. Yeah. And now, and it's in the most unopportune place. No signal, no food. West Bumble. <laughs> so you just learned a key problem. What? You said no. And you do not have the class to say no. And we're not talking about color. Yeah. You're behind that wheel. You do not have the class to say no. It's that freaking simple. That's why they want automated trucks, because automated trucks don't never say no. That's a fact. They don't <laughs> never go to sleep. They don't never say no. And they don't never get old. Yeah. It's that simple. And they're tired of having to for people, for people's emotions, and they're tired of people's lives getting in the way of their business plan. Oh man, yeah. I want this load ran through here regardless of the quality of life. I don't care. I do not care. And if the if the truck crashes, you sue the automated company that made the truck. You don't sue me. Listen, I, I don't care how many times you got to go to Tyson to sit there for nine hours. That load is going <laughs> to Kentucky. <Another point. laughs> <It's going. laughs> Nothing worse than when I see a meat load, a national beef load, and he tells oh. me to run over there now. It's zero nine hundred, and I can tell the thing says they have till twenty nine. They uh, have till twenty three fifty nine. That means they're gonna give you that load at ten o'clock at night. You're not getting it nine o'clock in the morning at all. So you might well get there and get come. I mean, I go watch movies. I do all type of shit when I get one of them loads. Or the one, or or some of the some of the beef plants where you gotta you have to show up at your hard appointment, but you gotta leave it there for twenty four hours. Ugh. The worst. Or if they you get there on time, you're on your appointment and everything, and they still hold you to three in the morning. Ugh. What was the appointment for? And got the nerve to say you can't stay on the property. Right. And then are the one where you get there with the the, 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 the call com tells you your appointment is zero nine hundred. Yeah. You get there and they say you don't have an appointment. Oh. But we'll put you in the queue. Oh, we'll put you in the queue. We'll get to you. A park over there. Oh, man, your day's screwed. That man. is the worst, bro. They held me. I, I remember going to this dog food plant. They held me for 16 hours. Jeez, man. 16 hours. is. That's why I do say, oh, I hate going to Walmart, man. I learned real quick. Walmart got their shit together. These other places do not have their shit together. That's a fact. You will love a Walmart after dealing with brokered loads. <sighs> you deal with, no, I get a better one. Deal with brokered dry van loads. Oh, no. You don't know where you're going at all. Just some random warehouse. They don't. Like, got are they open. even open? <laughs> it's just a random warehouse where goddamn uh, Jimmy the Coon is sitting on the thing and they talking about inappropriate shit. You back up to the door and you're just there. Man, I remember going to this this warehouse in Atlanta. This place was brand new. I walked in. They in there setting stuff up. They was confused. Like, they didn't know they had a truck coming. I'm like, y'all ordered this? Like, wait, why are you here? Like, yeah, you ordered it. <laughs> right. Oh, 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 oh. Well, yeah, well, we'll have to find somebody. Like, and it they in there just chilling. Just hanging so out. And you get there, you are, and then they load you. Everything's loaded on. Then it's three hours of them bullshit in the office where they bring you your paperwork. No. Are you walking in like, oh, here's your paperwork. So how long have I been sitting here? You could have been giving me this. Man. Oh, you're supposed to come in when we're done. There's no light. Yeah. Like, have you ever, oh man, have you ever been to a, a DHL warehouse? No. 
Man, listen, you think <laughs> you think general freight drive van warehouses are a pain. You ever had to deal with international freight? Yeah. Oh, my the, the God. Ports. Oh, my God. It's just yeah. a grueling process. Everybody's mad. <laughs> and don't and don't let it be that <laughs> don't let it be that your load was actually ready while somebody that's been there for eight hours waiting on one piece of freight. Oh, it's it's a whole scene. They going off. Mm, I, they should go off, man. Yeah, I feel I feel like we give these places we give these places entirely um, too much power. Yeah, over us. And the truth is, they're they're losing their power. That's why they're in a shortage because people are just saying, "Screw it, I'll go do something else." Yeah, before and it wasn't like that. There was there was a a rule passed not long ago that some of these shippers would have to start paying detention directly. And there was a lot of pushback from the shippers on that. Absolutely. Because they want pushback from both because they want your detention pay. The the, the company you're with wants your detention pay. They don't want to give it to you. And, and another thing too, I I mean, I wish somebody would do an investigation on this. Granted, I feel like it's just going to be what it is. (laughs) The amount of money that these lumper companies get away with taking from drivers and carriers. Yeah, that's crazy. I've seen $700 for a lumper before. Oh my God. 700, 800, $500 to unload a truck. I remember going to one, one particular shipper and this was during my owner op days and we're on the door and this is, this is how they, this is how they get you on the door. It says you can pay the lumber or you can unload it yourself. Now, mind you, I, I don't profess to be, you know, physically fit or anything like that, but I'm in, I'm in decent shape. So I was like, I'll save the money. I'm going to unload it myself. Now here's where they got over. They used the Ponder replay. I'm not going to say the word cause it, you know, it gets weird. They, they used the Ponder replay as an excuse to say drivers can't unload their freight. So they forced you to pay the $500. What, 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 well, what is the Ponder? I don't know what the Ponder replay. What is that? You, you know, the vid, the 19, the ninth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They use yeah. the 19 as an excuse to say uh, drive. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. And it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report live that I do with Phil, which is link is at the bottom on rumble tb uncut so i appreciate y'all love the support if you like the content man hit the buttons let me know thanks for coming to the patreon